Hey everyone, in today's video, we're gonna do a comparison for pullout values between the trusty 60 penny nail and the new headlock screws that they have. So one question we have with these screws is, will the threads that are gripping the wood give way before the head slips through the lumber? So you kind of got to figure out what, what's going to give first, because in engineering, it's all about what's the weakest link in that chain. So uh, with the nails, it's a similar comparison, just uh, smaller scale. It's got a smaller head and actually smaller grips, if you will, into the wood. You'll notice that both of these are the same length. They're both six inches. Uh, you'll see a couple major differences. The nail actually just has ribs on it. Um, they call that a ring shank, and that uh, allows some friction or grabbing in the wood grains. And then the screw um, also has uh, a larger flange that grabs and eats, bites into the wood. And what I would share with you is that w if wood fibers are like this, and you drive a ring shank nail into them, they're gonna be pressed down. And over time, wood fi fibers as they dry will go back to their original position. So with a ring shank nail, if we drove that down in those fibers, it would have a tendency to loosen up slightly, okay? With a screw, when you dry, when you actually screw into wood, it pulls the wood fibers up, and then it actually, over time, would tighten that screw. So that's one fact. The other is that there is a bigger flange, a bigger bite on the screw just for pullout value. Uh, the shank on this is, or the diameter is slightly larger, and then the head is significantly larger. So when you think about, uh, sometimes you'll pull a board off and the nail will remain in the, in the lower piece of wood and the board will actually pull over this. So we're trying to uh, uh, fight that when we do the larger head. So uh, we're going to do some tests. We can go to engineering books. We can look at the values of these screws. But we wanted to do just a real-life look at what happens when you put these products into the lumber that we use in construction and what are the strength dif differences or just the pull-out values. All right, so for those of you that were wondering, it looks like the screw won that competition pretty handily, and that's why we use this on a regular basis as a standard in every building that we use. So if you like this content, continue to watch, and we hope to bring more to you.